So here we are in Scorpio eclipse season and I want to talk about alignment because leave it to the sign of death and transformation to show you exactly where things are not working in your life. So alignment to me means that we are in a symbiotic relationship of listening to the subtle energies of the universe, receiving energetic feedback and making choices, taking action, pausing, reevaluating, and recalibrating in harmony with the flow of life. Essentially, we are saying yes to the river of creation that we are, and our minds, our hearts, our guts, and our sex centers are all harmonizing to match and answer the calling of our soul. So when something is out of alignment, the universe does everything it possibly can to make that abundantly clear in the physical realm until we listen. And when something's out of alignment, it doesn't feel good. It feels like we're swimming upstream and fighting against the flow of life, but aspects of it do feel safe and familiar and nourishing because they feed an outdated part of us that is seeking survival from childhood. We call these patterns back into our lives again and again and again from childhood. And so when we're in energetic up leveling as we're in right now on the planet, this is a major opportunity for us to create new neural pathways and expand the capacity of our cellular structure to receive and hold greater pleasure, wealth, love, power, and alignment in our lives. And so for me, the ways that I've found are the most effective to draw myself back into alignment when I'm out of alignment is to practice these four C's of alignment. So the first C of alignment is to consciously notice when we're swimming upstream. So become aware of it, notice it, ah, okay, here I am. And then the second C is to come back to source, resource, reach in, look within yourself for love instead of outside of yourself, right? Because we can consciously notice it, but then choose to perpetuate the pattern. So that's why the second C is come back to source. The third C is choose to let go of the pattern. This is a huge key and pivotal shift to, is to be on board with choosing to let go of the pattern. So for myself, it's often, why are my needs not getting met in partnership? Why am I always seeking love and it's never there and I don't belong and like, uh, so I get to make the choice of, oh, I see you and I am choosing to be complete with this teacher. I say, thank you, goodbye, I release it. And when you release it, you're already in alignment and what might have felt challenging in the past actually feels pleasurable because even if you're grieving or releasing an old pattern, you're in alignment with that river again so it can also feel good. And that brings us to the fourth C, which is create a new pattern. So now that we've consciously noticed came back to source and chosen to let go of the pattern, we get to actually be the co-creators of life that we are and pave a new neural pathway. And this one is also super important because once we're back in that space of, okay, I've released this, but now I'm in a situation that looks similar. Oh, but I get to create a new pattern. Yeah, and that's the exciting one. So I celebrate all of you in this time of the Scorpio new moon eclipse and just entering these deep waters of transformation before the end of 2023. It's an exciting time and all of us are learning how to step into this new frequency that we are whew, up leveling into as a planet. And so bless you and may these four seas of alignment help you draw yourself back into your center again and again and again it's a consistent practice so that you may actually capacitate more love and pleasure and juice and joy in your whole body i love you so much and reach out to me with any questions you may have mm -hmm.